Alexa uh, doorstepped Christia Freeland. By the way, Justin Trudeau should really teach Christia Freeland how to sit like a lady because <laughs> only one of them sits like a lady with your legs crossed appropriately. Um, and it is Justin Trudeau. So I know it can be done. Oh, um, we, we didn't we, have to use the blue dot on this video. Did we Sheila? No, what a terror though. That, was before. <laughs> um, that woman just, just an absolute clod hopper of a woman. So anyways, <laughs> uh, Christy Freeland was doorstepped by our Alexa Lavoie. Um, about the government's new proposed grocery tax. Of course, you can float the idea of a grocery tax. And apparently the liberals think that the people who are eating the groceries and buying the groceries should not be entitled to pose questions to the government who are making groceries more expensive. So she approaches Freeland and then watch what happens next. Apparently now hotel employees think it's their right to put their hands on female journalists. And again, if you if you sent a mean tweet to Rachel Gilmore in the last year, you're on some sort of cease this watch list. But Alexa Lavoie can get manhandled, shot at close range by a riot control device, uh, and it's no big deal. Uh, uh, if she were on the left, she would be speaking on feminist panels about the dangers uh, that female journalists face. But Alexa's politics are all wrong, and so people pretend like she's not that these things don't happen to her. Anyways, I'll shut up. Let's roll the clip. Threatening now Canadian with a new so taxes sorry. for grocery store. So you don't think that adding a tax on taxes is actually like not helping Canadian? <laughs> Whoa, who are you? Threatening now. Well, that guy is. Yeah, all I gotta say, uh, Sheila, here is holy David Strong. Remember that jabroni from the Radisson Hotel? We went to court. We successfully uh, sued him when he got handsy with Efren and I when we were covering the uh, another Toronto migrant hotel and decided to get handsy. Maybe we can show that clip later on. Yeah, but what is it about hotel employees who I assume don't have a security license? And even if they did, they're not supposed to get handsy like that. It's too bad we didn't have a, supp um, a supplementary camera to show how Alexa was getting shoved around by that guy. Um, but yeah. Oh, let's, let's, I wonder if the... Hotel itself has footage. They oh, probably shouldn't it. delete that. Yep. They probably shouldn't delete that because we're also going to find out who that guy is. You don't get to just put your hands on our journalist. Yeah. Um, and by the way, Freeland will not shut up about feminism, right? Like she is insufferable <laughs> about it. But she doesn't even flinch to turn around and say, hey, put, take your hands off that woman. No, Freeland completely ignores it. If I saw a leftist woman being assaulted, yeah. I wouldn't check her politics and her voting record before I objected to it. But the left seems to think that we need to make sure that there's a values test before we stand up against violence against women. It's appalling. Freeland had a chance to intervene and say, look, get your hands off her. She didn't. She walked away because she doesn't actually care about violence against women or feminism or women's rights or anything like that. She's just a social preener um, to the liberal base. She doesn't care about any of these things. Yeah. No, you're so right. And it all has everything to do with your political leanings, uh, Sheila. Uh, that's why she cruises through. And I, by the way, I know as we're running that videotape too, that guy he points at his name tag, his hotel name. Yeah, he's name. dumb as a stump. Yeah, like like <laughs> it's his sheriff's badge. Like yeah. he's actually a member of law enforcement. Uh, I think it's coming up just any second now. Yeah, yeah. Look, see my name tag. That <laughs> has my name on it as a hotel employee. Thanks. You know, I'm uh, I'm the sheriff in these here parts, uh, little lady. Unbelievable. But um, you know, what was the name of that hotel, the by the way, Sheila? I don't know, but these handsy male feminists, they all look the same, don't they? They all have this sort of look about them um, that, you know, Alexa probably could have dropped him like a sack of potatoes. But then the whole narrative is Rebel News journalist assaults hotel employee. Oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> that's what it'll be. Um, yeah. let, let's uh, move ahead because despite, oh, no. Yes, despite all this, Alexa Lavoie continued to do her work. 
um, even though she's manhandled by a hotel employee. And she found former Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, Tony Blair, and asked him a similar question to what our friend Lincoln Jay put to Jacinda earlier in the day. So let's roll that. Is it not hypocritical to come here with a private jet or with a flight burning a lot of carbon footprint to come here to talk about climate change? Is not a little bit hypocritical? No answer. I know, Nothing I never is, because what could you answer, right? Like, what could you answer? But these are allegedly parliamentarians, uh, Sheila. They should be good with their mouth. That's your number one skill as a politician. Um, don't you even have a stand pat answer just in case there is some impolite person asking these questions? Apparently not. They just clam up and retreat into their shell like a tortoise. Yeah, because they've never been asked these questions. Like yeah. I said earlier, Pierre Polyev, he gets asked tough questions by the left and the right. And his like um his argumentation muscle in his brain is constantly working and flexing and growing. And then these liberal politicians, they know that the mainstream media and so the journalists, the only journalists they allow into these events are so in agreement with them on everything that they know a prickly question is never going to come their way. And so, yeah, um, Alexa, she was there um, until she was booted because that's how you get kicked out of these summits, these globalist summits, is by being disagreeable or at least having a, a free thought. Hey, folks, that was a clip from the daily live stream. I co-host it Monday to Thursday from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The Alberta team takes over on Friday. Please tune in. And by the way, we want to hear your two cents worth. If you're able to make a minimal $5 donation, we will read your chat on the air live. Thank you. Justin Trudeau's new censorship law, Bill C-18, it's a shakedown and a desperate attempt to keep the mainstream media afloat. Many have already lost their ability to access our Facebook and Instagram pages. The blackout will soon affect every user in Canada. We've partnered with Private Internet Access, a VPN provider dedicated to safeguarding digital privacy. For just $2 a month, you can maintain your access to our content across all your devices at piavpn.com slash rebelnews.